Welcome to this video on email automation. Email automation is a great way to thank your buyers, give them helpful information related to your products, or ask for reviews. Efficient Era's order automation system allows you to automatically send emails to customers based on event triggers, such as when an order was confirmed, shipped, or delivered. With a few simple steps, you can bypass the tedious task of creating manual follow-up emails for each of your products sold. Efficient Era's email automation relies on two important concepts, email themes and email campaigns. An email theme is where you define the overall layout of your email, and an email campaign is where you can define the body of your email and associate products and event triggers to it. Think of the theme as being a wrapper that holds header and footer information that is fairly standard across all your messaging, such as your company name or a request for a product review. You also have the flexibility to turn campaigns on or off for specific marketplaces. This can give you an additional level of customization based on language, for example. Now that we've talked about the main concepts, let's dive into the actual setup. On the main dashboard, You'll find your follow-up email data on the order automation panel. You can view the number of follow-up emails you've sent in the past 3 days, 7 days, or 14 days. Click on the order automation settings link in the top right corner of the chart to manage your email campaigns. To set up email automation, you first need to finalize a theme. As explained earlier, a theme defines the overall layout of the emails you send out. Two themes are provided to you by default. These are the plain theme, which is a plain text mail, and the simple theme, which is a simple HTML based theme. If you would like more granular control over the way your email looks, such as by adding images, header or footer text, requests for reviews and links to support pages, then you could choose to create your own theme by clicking on the new theme button. To create a new theme, click on the new theme button provided a name and some body text. A great way to enhance your message is to personalize it with placeholder text. Placeholders get replaced with actual text just before your email is sent out. Here are some of the placeholders available. Just remember to not delete the dollar email underscore body placeholder from your theme. This placeholder is where the actual contents of an associated campaign will go. Next, let's jump into setting up an email campaign. From the drop-down menu, click on plus new campaign. First, insert your campaign name. This is a display name which you would use to internally refer to a campaign. If you specify this as a default campaign, it will run for all products that do not have any campaigns associated with them. Choose one or more products to associate with this campaign. You can always remove products later. Make sure you specify at least one marketplace in which this campaign will be active and then click Save. Once a campaign has been created, select it from the drop-down list at the top and click on Edit to edit the contents. Once again, you have the option of weaving in text placeholders to customize the text even more. Your email campaigns can be as unique as you like. Use the text editor to perform standard formatting such as the use of bold, and italics texts, lists, tables, images, and more. You can also edit the HTML and customize it further. Next, let's set up some triggers. Event triggers define when the campaign will be fired. For example, you can select triggers for the email to be sent when the order was confirmed, shipped, or delivered. You can also add delays for the emails to be sent. While you are allowed to create up to five triggers per campaign, our recommendation is to stick with one or no more than two emails as this can easily annoy your customers. Now that your campaign is all set up, you can preview it by clicking on the preview button at the top right. Even though placeholder text is not available in the preview, you can still confirm line spacing and the overall look, including the placement of any images. Finally, when you are happy with the way your campaign looks, make sure to flip the enabled button. If you are selling in the UK and have activated your MWS credentials with us, you also have the option of enabling the Create and Attach VAT Invoices option. This will automatically send VAT invoices along with every purchase made. There is one last thing to check 
to ensure that your campaigns are active. Click on the overall order automation settings in the top right. Under email automation, make sure that the email button is enabled for the relevant marketplaces. This is the master setting for all order processing details. If these are disabled, your individual campaigns will not be activated. Okay, you're all set. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at